You want to create beautiful, aesthetic, modern designs in Canva, but you don't know how? Well, this video can help you. I'm going to show you how to create gradients in Canva instantly to add visual interest, and that includes gradient text too. Ready? Let's do this. Hi, my lovely people. It's Natalia, and welcome back to my channel where I help you create better content and grow on social media. Today, you're going to learn two useful techniques in Canva to use aesthetic gradients as your design background and to add a gradient to text for a fun text effect. Now, no time to waste. Let's jump right to Canva. Now, there are three different ways to add gradients to your designs, and the first one is the simplest one from the color panel within Canva. So if I select my background in here, because this is where I want to add my gradient, I can go to the background color at the top and you can have different options for gradients in here at the bottom or you can just simply go to your color settings like this and from here you will be able to choose gradient now it automatically just chooses a color for you that they think would match your design well of course I don't quite like the style that it chose for me so I'm just going to go ahead and choose something that I particularly like for this design and from here at the bottom you will be able to actually change the angle of the gradient and the style of the gradient. So you can see in here that it's a little bit more circular and there's a linear one, different options in here and find something that you really like. So this is already something that is much more interesting than just a solid background. The other options for gradients are the transparency in here. So for example, if you just wanted to use that gradient panel, not necessarily as a background, but maybe as an interesting visual element in your design, you would be able to just drop that transparency in here and that would serve as kind of an overlay if that makes sense. So let me show that to you in here. If I just add a rectangle by using R, I go to the color and to the settings in here and choose gradient. If I wanted to change that one maybe to this orange in here and maybe retain that purple just to show you what it looks like, I will be able to just jump back in here and drop that opacity and that creates that nice kind of gradient for us. And of course, it's you can manipulate it the way you would any other shape in here. This works, of course, for circles. It works for triangles. So it's a really cool option that we now have in here. Of course, it wouldn't really <laughs> work for this design in particular. But of course, I'm just showing you the different options. Now, if you ever feel like you want to just change the direction of your gradient or add more colors, you're free to just do it from here. And you can create custom gradients like this to just overlay on top of your designs or use as interesting elements. Now, my pro tip in here, if you use gradients a lot and they're a part of your branding, is to actually go to your brand kit and add those gradients through a new color. So this is a new option and I really love it because I'm definitely a gradient girly. I use a lot of gradients. So this will help me actually just make my life much more easy and seamless in terms of the workflow. So I can just go ahead and choose that gradient from here. I will be able to maybe just put some of the hex codes that you can see for my palette from the side. I very often mix the light blue with a light purple just like this. So I can just add it like that and that just makes it so much easier for me just to have that gradient in here. Of course the brand kit is a Canva Pro only feature so if you want to try Canva Pro this is the best time to do it. Now I can offer you a 45 day link for a free Canva Pro. However that link is going to go away at the end of April. I mean it's not really going away on the 30th of April it will revert back to the standard 30-day trial. All of the trials are being standardized across the board for Canva. So this is really your last chance to use two more weeks of Canva Pro for free. So claim your offer from the link down in the description box. Now, those simple gradients in Canva are great, but there's also a second way to add more trendy, noisy, kind of grainy gradients that are much more modern right now. And you can find a lot of them on Pinterest. You'll see a lot of them in the Canva elements, actually. But there is actually a way to generate your own using your own branded colors, which I really love. And this is utilizing the app from the Canva ecosystem. So if you go to the left panel in here and click on the apps, you will be able to just search for gradient. And this is the first suggestion in here, gradient generator. That's the app that you want. And of course, you can see the logo they've already used for this design. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on it. And this is what this app looks like. Now it generates random color palettes for you. So if you want to just you know, get inspired by whatever Canva suggests for you. This is something that you can use in here, or you can just, 
go ahead and click a few times just to find other types of colors for your palette. I kind of like this one, but of course from here you would be able to just add your hex codes from your own palette and just customize it. From there you will be able to just lock that palette in and just randomize those colors like this. I landed on this type of a palette so we can just keep hitting randomize just to be able to generate different styles of the same gradient. Now from here at the very bottom you can adjust the noise level so this is something that you can add of course I wouldn't make it too intense uh, but something a little bit more grainy and gritty can really add a bit more of that interest to your design and if you're happy with the gradient that it generated you can just click to add it to a design. Now of course at the moment unfortunately it only generates square images so if you're designing something like an Instagram um, post like in my case you will have to make sure that you're making space for that gradient. So I'm just going to just push it back like this. And this is what it looks like. Now, one thing that I don't quite like about this app, and I think it's quite glitchy in that regard, is that when you step out of the gradient generator, even if you have your palette locked in, you will be taken out of it. So you can see that if I just close it, for example, or if I were to just touch any of the other elements, if I jump back to that gradient in here, you see that it completely reset that color palette so even if I lock it and just go somewhere else let's say I'm going to edit that image and go back in you can see that everything was just reset so this is something that's worth keeping in mind if you want to just you know seamlessly work on it now my pro tip in here would be to just add a few of those gradients to new designs or to new pages and this way you will be able to just download them as standalone graphics and this way you can just save them to a folder with your own branded assets of course if you're using your own branded color palette and this way this saves a lot of time and creates nicely generated gradients for you to use within your future designs. Now by the way if you want to finally tame the chaos that Canva can sometimes be then you need to learn how to clean it up and organize it so that it works for you. This way you'll design much faster and that's what we all want so go ahead and watch this video right after this one. And you can see straight away how much more interesting this whole design becomes when we have that nice gritty grainy gradient underneath as the background. Background. Of course, moving on, you can see different renditions with slightly different color palettes. So there is a lot of versatility in terms of how you can kind of render your own brand using this tool. But I want to move on to the third option, the third way to actually include gradients within your design. And that, of course, is text gradients. So there is an app for it as well. So if you go ahead to the apps in here and actually type type gradient you will have that suggestion here and this is exactly what it looks like so this is where I'm going to click right now and I want to just emulate the same text in here but again add a bit of that visual interest to it so in here at the very top you've got main text I'm just going to say text gradient and from here below, you will be able to add the font. Now, I know exactly what the font I've used in here is. So that's Abril or Abril, not sure how to pronounce that one, but this is what it looks like. And I can just align it from here to the center or to the right. And this is exactly what I want in here. And below, you can actually adjust your line height. So I will go for something like this in here. And this is where the magic happens with this particular app. So this is where you can actually render your gradient, apply your gradient. So as a standard, you've got three points for your gradient. You've got the left one in here. Unfortunately, we don't have a color picker in here as well. So you will have to just have your hex codes. And I've actually created a little <laughs> checklist for me just to have all those hex codes. I'm just going to enter them now. So as you can see, I just clicked on that circle to be able to see what's happening underneath. Of course, you can use the spectrum for here, but I'm going to just go ahead and enter my hex code number one. And this is the one that I'll be using in three different points as you can see so I can just copy that hex code and just amend all three of those points like this and of course that means that we're no longer having a gradient because this is all uniform so I want to just go ahead and add another point on my gradient scale and this is exactly what I can do from here so I'm just going to go ahead and put in the hex code just like that and again if I want to add another point in here I will be able to do that like this so it's super simple a very simple app to use within your designing process and of course if you want you can also just move these around a little bit so that you can actually just create a bit more of that interest in here if you ever want to you can kind of keep adding these different points like this and if you're not happy with a point you can always go ahead and delete it and it disappears from here like that so um 
I'm very happy with what it looks like like this, but I also want to change um, the direction of the gradient. So you can see in here that I will be able to just move these points around just like that. And you will be able to just use that little canvas, that little preview in here, just to render the text the way you want. Of course, you can go for something more angular or you can go for something a little bit more simple like this one, for example. Just play around with the effects and see what you like. So I'm just going to scroll back to our original design and I'm I'm just going to hit add to design because I think I'm very happy with what it looks like. I can grab drag it to the sides like this and just kind of compare it. Of course it is it might be slightly different because we don't have the option to actually adjust the tracking or the letter spacing in here but I'm actually quite happy with what it looks like so I can just click away and just go to the position and remove my layer underneath just like that and you can see that it's slightly different but I still really like the effect that it gave me in here. And what I love about this is that you can actually just jump back in at any point so it's very different to the gradient generator that really kind of resets everything for you with this app you can jump back in and you will be able at any point just to amend that and the way you do it is just to go ahead and update that element from here so it's a really cool app very versatile it has quite a few fonts in here so you will be able to find something that you're looking for now creating engaging designs is one thing but videos are so important for well-rounded strategy too now i'm confident this video right here will show you a simple way to effortlessly create more video content with Canva AI. Watch it now. And of course, hit that like button to help the channel grow and therefore help me bring more value to you. Subscribe to see more tutorials like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.